this fast, um, but several of you have asked about my vehicle loadout. So I'm out here today, I'm probably 80 miles, roughly 80 miles from my house, um, hours away from any kind of a paved road. So what I have with me is, is generally what stays in my vehicle all the time, and then I throw in a few kind of trip-specific things. So here goes. So basically the three components of my vehicle loadout are the ILB E-Pack, the Eagle Industries loadout bag, and that six gallon jug of water. Now, I think it's important to note too that that's basically all of my camping gear. So if I go camping with somebody, I grab those three things and that's all of the camping gear I need. Now, I might, depending on the time of year, I might grab a tent to add to it, or I may grab things like firearms and accessories if we're gonna be doing some shooting, um, day pack appropriate stuff. If I'm going metal detecting or exploring old homesteads, obviously I'd add my metal detector and stuff like that. So I'm gonna give you guys a little closer look at what's in my loadout bag. So once more, I've got a six gallon jug of water, my ILB E-Pack, which serves as my EDLS, extended desert living system, and also my inch pack, um, which is a term you guys are probably a little more familiar with. This is my battle belt. That always sits on top of my ILBE. This has my pistol belt, my SE4 knife, some fire starter, things like that on it. Here, my Eagle loadout bag. This has extra camping stuff, and I'll go through this for you guys in a minute. I've been through my ILBE pack, obviously, in previous videos. And then this is my clothing bag. I've been through that before. If you guys want to see kind of that bag and the ILBE, um, watch my video. I think it's called Quick Mock Bug Out. And I just left my office in an afternoon, parked my car, grabbed those two things, walk off, did a change out. So you can see that whole system there. So next I'll go through what's in this loadout bag for you guys. So I'm going to start at the end. I have a shovel. This is a heavy duty tri-folding shovel, a roll of duct tape, and a fire kit in that pocket. In this pocket, I have earplugs. I try to put earplugs in everything. A stocking cap, a couple of snacks, sanitary wipes, and a six pack of CR-123 batteries for my Surefires. In this pocket, I have a 12 volt power inverter. Um, I can plug this into my cigarette lighter and use it to charge cameras, phones, things like that. In here, I'm not gonna pull everything out, but this is basically my ammo pocket. I've got 250 rounds of 223 ammo in there. 30 round magazines and one 20 round magazine. And what's in this pocket might change out depending on what I'm going to do. Like if I'm just going to be going on a trip where I'm doing a lot of shotgunning, I may pull some of that 223 ammo out of there and just have shotgun shells in there or something. And then on this end down here, I have my tribal provisions hammock. And this is all my attachments. A lot of rope, um, light sticks, bungee cords, tent stakes, things like that. In the main pocket of this, I have an auxiliary cooking system. This is an MSR Whisper Light stove. There's a mess kit in here, one pan, a plate, um, a titanium cup. So this is basically my camp or auxiliary cooking set. I've got 32 ounces of water in here, roll of paper towels, those always come in handy. This is a little lean right now, but if I'm camping, this is my bag that I put all my extra clothes in. Right now it just has some extra meds, a little bit of a, like pain reliever, things like that, extra pair of socks, extra shirt, and a set of long john bottoms. Just a few things that I like to have in here all the time. Here's an MRE meal. A bag of food. This bag of food has about, oh, 8,000 calories or so of food in it right now, so it's a couple of days food supply. 
Then here's a larger bottle of fuel. Don't laugh. Here's a pillow. A thermarest, a uh, self-inflating ground pad. A set of tent poles. These are really handy for setting up a tarp shelter off of my vehicle or, you know, a wind protection or sun canopy or something like that. Then I've got a Wiggy's poncho liner and a 12 by 14 tarp. So conceptually, the idea is that this is basically everything I need to go on a fairly comfortable camping trip. What's in my EDLS pack is what I need to go to survive, to camp and survive, but not necessarily be really comfortable. So this bag is designed to supplement that and add comfort items. This is my camping bag, but also doubles as nice stuff to just have in my vehicle under any circumstance if I was stuck out here, say for instance. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll hit you on the next one.